What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Vincent Oshana Show. I'm your host, Vincent Oshana. I hope you're all having an amazing hump day, Wednesday. Uh, to my left, as always, on the ones and twos, the very lovely, the very educated, it's her birthday month, Kelly Arnold. Give a round of applause, everybody, for Kelly Arnold. There we go, Kelly. Uh, and so, guys, uh, so our guest today, uh, Kali Fania, uh, unfortunately, her flight was delayed. It's freaking pouring. There's lightning. She, did, she couldn't make it today, which sucks for us. And I know some of the viewers are probably waiting for her. But uh, instead, uh, somebody that kind of like coincides with her, her name is, uh, let me make sure I get it, Luna, the activist teacher. She's here. Uh, she's been on the internet. Uh, Dinesh uh, D'Souza, he, uh, he interviewed her, Kelly. And just for you guys who don't know, I just want to show you guys a little taste, because mind you, we, we, we have all walks of life of people here. She's, she's woke. She's, you guys are going to get to see her, but can you just show the clip of, of her, Kelly, really fast so people could see it? I normally ask for pronouns on the podcast, but in this case, I thought I would respect your desires. Yeah. Uh, thank you for respecting my preferred pronouns, Dinesh. I'm actually gender fluid, and so I wear scrunchies around my wrist so that uh, you can understand which pronoun I'm going by for the day, because I know how you right-wingers don't know how to respect pronouns. So on pink days, I go by she, her. On white days, I go by they, them. Blue days, I go by he, him. And a very special red scrunchie is when I do the neo pronoun dragon self. And that's usually <laughs> during my menstrual cycle. It doesn't come out very often. And you actually lucked out today. I'm going by she, her. Uh, that could change by the minute, by the day, by the hour. Okay, so uh, please everybody uh, help me welcome Luna. And we'll find out what her last name is shortly. Uh, Luna, the activist teacher. Guys, give her a round of applause, everybody. <laughs> So, uh, Luna, thank you, for, thank you for stepping in last minute. But just, I mean, I, you're in Florida right now, j just right off the jump. It's very scary here. Okay, but why you, my question is, first of all, uh, you're wearing well, a mask, Luna, uh, but what does a mask even we're say? We're supposed to start with preferred pronouns, please. Uh, uh, I would like you to uh, respect my preferred pronouns, and today I am going by they, them, so the white scrunchy. This could change by the minute, by the day, by the hour, so please keep track of that. So, okay, I pa so are you gonna keep me updated on every moment, uh, second? I'd also like to know your preferred pronouns, please. I don't even, I don't, I don't get into all that. You could do whatever you want and <laughs> do just whatever. That, so I can oh, call you whatever oh, you I know want? You know what? I'm gonna use Shakespearean pronouns. Thee, thy, thou, thyself, yeah. and ye. So you could, you have to call me Vine for the rest of this. Well, Jesus. Vine is a right wing extremist with that uh, American flag shirt. It's oh, very God. offensive. Um, offensive how that it's in, you're in America and this uh, is America. It's, this is a white supremacist country, and you know that that flag is really uh, giving me a lot of un, unhappy feelings. Right Anxiety. Now. Well, do, I know there's a. Do, I think somebody brought a puppy. Do you need something to pet? Because you're stressing out or like uh, how it? do you know that that's a puppy you really shouldn't uh assume oh, it's it's uh it's okay a species okay so let me ask you a question luna uh you're so you're the so you're they you identify as what like a yes a, i am gender fluid so um for you right-wing extremists that don't get any I'm of not, these any right of this wow. inclusivity uh you you uh, gender fluid means that i can you know switch genders depending on how i feel you know i don't really feel comfortable in my biological gender and I never really felt comfortable as a male or a female. So I like the idea of being gender fluid because then I can go based on how I'm feeling at the time. Okay, got you. So right now you're just, you're, you're a plural. Right yes, now. exactly. And I have several students that actually are, are exploring their gender. I'm a fourth grade teacher here in Florida. Oh my God. What school is that? So everybody could please, everybody listen. What school are you teaching? Well, I teach it. Uh, I actually don't want to share that with you right now because right wing extremists will come after me. But yes, I teach fourth grade and I uh, make sure that my students very much uh, explore their gender. I actually bring in a basket for them to explore their gender so they have like hard hats and tiaras and jock straps so that they can try out different genders because, you know, uh, you right-wing extremists are into that gender binary, okay. which is very oppressive. So I'm just gonna, just really fast, I'm not a right-wing extremist, I'm actually a uh, United you States- you have American flag on your shirt. I'm a United States Air Force veteran. My parents are legal immigrants from the Middle East. I, I don't give into the right-wing. I'm not right-wing just because I just, I don't give into that. Like for instance, you're, what's, what first well, of all- Well, do you believe there are two genders? 
Yes, I believe there's... Well, that's, then you're a right-wing extremist. That's not, that has nothing to do with being right-wing. There's men and women. If some people have gender Are dysphoria... Are you currently... Did you wear a mask during the pandemic? I definitely did not wear a well, mask. Well, then you are a right-wing extremist. Oh, God, dude, I can't, like... Uh, I'm, I'm getting very uncomfortable here. I, I, I'm already, you know, risking my life being here that you're not wearing a mask. Are you... Uh, we're, well, Florida, I moved here from California, so I don't have to wear a mask to do that. You know that they don't work. You don't they respect uh, people wanting to protect themselves from COVID. No, I respect the fact that they all lied. Fauci, it's, it's, it's Mr. Science, it's uh, all true Fauci that it was fake. Fauci is a hero. Fauci oh is a hero. God. He saved many lives. This was a mistake. And uh, I, I actually miss hearing from him every day. I've been wondering where he's at. I mean, he's been like a second lover for me. <laughs> Luna, what does your shirt even say or mean? What is it, what's your shirt Oh, doing? my shirt. Yeah, this is, I wanted to make sure I bring a message here because I know how you guys are. You guys don't respect uh, uh, men and women that can get pregnant, by the way. Uh, it says pumpkin spice and reproductive rights, and these are a picture of ovaries. I just want to make sure I also tell you guys that there are men that have ovaries and that can give birth. I, oh, Luna, I hate to be the bear, bearer of bad news, but they cannot. Men could do that. Why? What happened? Hey, Luna, I apologize, but like some of, one of our producers said that just because like, like your language and the way that you're... you're your pronoun, though we so can't deal with that because if you, you get offended, you could sue us or something, and we just can't. We can't. Well, I, I feel like I was catching COVID anyways being in here. Okay, well, I'm well, actually ready to well, get then, out of here. Uh, well, then uh, you, they, bye, she, and uh, them could leave. So just. Yeah, you're yeah. in a cult. You're in a yeah, cult. You could go, yeah, don't, you're yeah. in a cult. Yeah, we'll, we'll clean that uh, later. The gender binary is a person. Yeah. Thank you, Luna. They, thy, thy, then. Oh, my God. Dude, what a whore. Who the hell? Dude, like, what? Oh, so is, is Kali going to, like, come back? Like, well, she, uh, listen, we'll do a, like, is she even close? I don't she, give a damn. She's in the parking lot. She's in she's the, the parking lot. Okay, all right. Okay, well, okay. Jesus Christ. Okay, listen. Well, we're going to move on to something. Dude, she just, like, I don't even know what the hell to think. Those people drive me bananas. I don't know about people in the chat, but yeah, left, right, I don't, I'm going to throw up. Anyway, um, all right, guys. So, as some of you guys know, I hope you guys are all okay out there, because this, this is a little bit crazy for me, too, but, um. I personally think Kamala Harris is one of, and I think Dodge agrees, mm. one of the greatest speakers in the history of the world. She's articulate. Inspiring. She's, huh? Inspiring. She, she's inspiring. Substantive. She's, she's well, yeah, she's well-versed, and uh, I'm actually lying through my teeth right now, but uh, it's, it drives me crazy because every time she speaks, in my head, I'm like, who the hell is writing her speeches? Who's responsible? So a couple months ago, we wrote a sketch uh, called Kamala Speech Writers Revealed, and uh, we want to show it to you guys right now. Kelly, show it. Come in. What are you doing? Um, working. What's it look like I'm doing? Where is Kamala's speech? She is going live in five minutes, and I can't find it anywhere. Okay, relax. The writers put the final version in the manila envelope outside their office. So. Oh, you mean this empty manila envelope? <laughs> Those sons of bitches. Come with me. Guys! Oh what is going on in here? Jesus Christ, oh guys. God. You guys had a deadline for Kamala's speech first thing this morning. I mean, this guys. is totally unacceptable. Guys, didn't we have a long talk last week about the significance of time and not letting the passage of time? Oh, that's it! Time! <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna know this speech. Watch this, Dodge. Yeah. Told us to see behind the scenes. The library here. And um, talking about the significance of the passage of time, right? The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time, and there is such great significance to the passage of time when we think about a day in the life of our children. <laughs> I think we need to hire new writers. Yeah, I agree. Oh, guys. We have great news. Uh, actually, there was a cop that was just randomly driving by. They got Luna in the car right now because she's absolutely batshit screaming outside that the building's racist because it's white. Uh, <laughs> our guest showed up today. And guys, I just have to write off the rip. Uh, she's a former high school teacher of 15 years. Uh, she's made appearance on the Ingram Angle, Newsmax, Dennis Prager Show. Uh, she and her husband uh, launched a K-12 online school called Exodus Institute. Uh, to support parents who want to pull their kids 
from public schools, which I freaking love that she did it. We'll get into that. She does that character, Luna, the activist teacher. <laughs> Everybody in YouTube land, help me give a big round of applause for Kali Fa'ania. Let's go, baby! I mean, that Luna is fucking lunatic. Well, she's based on all of the leftists I've had to be around oh my, while living in California oh my and God. teaching in California for 15 years. So, 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 what, so what, where she were you at? is a combination of all the crazy woke teachers I had to endure as colleagues for 15 years. Oh my yes. God. What was it? Do you remember like what was the worst? Like the one that you were just like, oh my God, like this is, this well, is too much. Well, there was a teacher that had a Trump as a clown on their door. So that was. <laughs> oh, great. Like, <laughs> yeah. like we get it, bro. So, uh, so what? Uh, just really fast too, uh, Kylie. What? What? Um. Uh. What was your? Was it? Was it a moment? Were you always this person? Like meaning? Uh. Not you got it. Cause I, I think we're the real woke, not the woke that they do. You're awake. Okay. There's woke and there's awake. Was there a moment that it clicked <laughs> for you, or what was the? It was during Obama. Yeah, was I was on the left. I was a huge leftist. I like banged pots and pans when Obama went it's embarrassing. Yeah, but, oh my yeah, God. Yeah, and I was super into him and, you know, my whole family's on the left and, oh, yeah, so but right then now, I realized it was just all just a bunch of, they were just lie to you. They lie to you over and over again, make you all these promises and then slap you in the back. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sick of that. I want freedom. I want to raise my kids how I want. And I just don't, and, and also the pandemic. They went oh. crazy during the pandemic. Absolute bad yes. shit. And I, I think, and we're going to get into it, that was a test. That was a test run for how long that they could take this, this ignorant-ass society. And I think it was like at the two-year mark, then they, we finally were like, no, 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 no. But now they know that they have a two-year window to, to do whatever they want. And the WHO director just came out. It's weird. Him, Fauci, they all warned us a second pandemic is coming. Oh, They're fun. warning you. They're yeah. letting you know, get ready for another one. And you know it's coming, but... But Kylie, thank you so. You're, I'm excited. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have fun. And people keep saying, uh, "Who's on your podcast?" This isn't a podcast. This is an experience. This is a show. <laughs> we talk about serious shit. We talk about funny shit. And we guess what? And we watch stupid, crazy videos, which we're gonna go to the next segment. And I want to. I, I can't wait to see uh, Kylie's uh, reaction to these. Our next segment is called "What the Funk." <laughs> Do, we, do I look good in the camera? Do I look good, guys? Okay, so, Kelly, for, for, I mean, for people that don't know, and I would like give you a heads up, Kelly found a bunch of videos on the internet of people doing stupid shit, and guess what? We're gonna respond and judge them just like how everybody does, okay? We're gonna judge people, because that's what we do, we're human beings. Uh, Kelly, are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. So ready. Okay, let's go. <laughs> My American flag, I feel racist. Okay, okay. Holy oh shit. <laughs> what the? Like what? <laughs> is she aiming for her? Was she aiming for her? Is she wearing a top? Oh, what the is. hell? Dude, why did she, did she aim for her? There's no video, there's no sound in the video? No. There's no sounds in the yeah, video. Yeah, okay. too far away. Okay, go ahead. They're on drugs. She's, yeah, she's just... Oh yeah, okay, look, look, look. Oh dude, that was close. That's yeah, dude. Is. I mean, I'm <laughs> impressed by that. That, that is God, crazy. that is God. Did you hear the guy in the that background? That was impressive. Go, yeah. <laughs> What did the guy in the background say? He was like, that was clutch, and then it falls and right then yeah. like, hey, hey, It was clutch, and then it hit him in his crotch. Yeah. That, that makes me hurt when I see shit like that. <laughs> All right, go ahead. What's this one? I would never do this shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, are you purposely aiming for that? Like, of all the places, wouldn't you just aim left? There's one tree, and you there's had to There's one hit. tree, look, Kelly, play it again. In that whole, look it, there's not a tree. <laughs> there's not a tree for miles, and you, is there two people on there too? There's, I think there's two people. Jim, good for them. Good. You know what, Kylie? I don't feel After bad. After a refund. Yeah, I don't feel yeah. bad for those people either. I, really, I genuinely don't. All right, let's go to the next one, Cal. Oh, this is not. Like, look, I love this. Look, 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 look. That's the moment of. Okay. This is where I always sing this song. If I could turn back time. Uh -uh. I do mistakes like that often. That is so funny. I mean, not as bad funny. as that, but I'm off. I'm cl clumsy, so I like. Do, are you back? I'll, I'll sing that song just to make myself feel better. So, so you don't, so you don't lose your freaking mind. Because like, look at this moment. He's there. Like, like, yeah. think about it. He was safe. He was smart. Just go take the, yourself out to eat and go back. Come back and deal yeah, with that later. Just, like, just, I, oh, I would not do yeah. that shit. I would yeah. leave and then come back. Yeah, exactly. You need to just process oh that. God. All right, let's go, Cal. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, she, she ripped her head off. off the flamingo. 
Oh my god. Go back, Kelly. Can I see it? Boy, Flamingo. Like, oh, oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's a good is, idea. That kid is pissed. You heard him? He's like, hey! Manda! <laughs> Alright, let's go. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh this is. Okay. Oh. Oh. I don't want to watch someone die. Did he just die? Oh, no, he's up there. Okay. Is, okay. That is scary. Oh, another one shot, another one shot. Yeah. Oh. Wait. This is what I call the dumbest of dumb people. Dumb, dumb. Yes. You just saw dumb somebody jump and you're going to go. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, dude. They're, I think they're alive though. All right, go ahead, Kel. Well, they posted it, so. Yeah, how would it? <laughs> oh, I think I saw call, this on the news. Yo, whoa, this, whoa, is whoa. A ca this is a car accident, right? Yeah. In like Cali or somewhere? Whoa. Yeah. Wait. Guess, oh god, I don't want to see a leg. To come out yeah, of are we? Are we gonna see a leg? Um. Yeah. That was the door. Okay, this I see leg. Shut the hell up. Are you serious? Oh what car is that? Bro, it's a very what? safe <laughs> car. <laughs> Especially in Florida, the people drive crazy here. Golly, I want that yeah, car, I know. dude. I want to come out of an accident up. looking like dude, that. Dude, if I'm telling you right now, if I was the car company, I'd play that, that commercial. Bit, uh, seriously. I'd be like, hey, listen. Hyundai, so, look at this guy. The drivers in Florida? He has to be, oh, oh they're, they're insane. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, that's, <laughs> that's why the insurance. That's my only complaint. <laughs> yo, my insurance is a hundred and some, almost $200 a month, and I have an impeccable driving yeah, record. Same. They, my USAA as a veteran, they're like, oh, no, no, it's not you. It's the people around yes. you are driving like they're yes. late. What, Kelly? I want to know how the car got under there in the first place. Well, he's did he tried to do the Christmas vacation. He did thing? the <laughs> yeah, yeah. He did the he did the yeah, when he's just underneath with the four tourists and he just got stuck there. Yeah, that's just not good. But dude, was it against a semi too? It's a was semi it? yeah. underneath so trap, crazy. dude. That is bananas. I need that car. Yeah, can we go, go, go to the next one. Uh -oh. Okay. This is gonna make you laugh. Oh. She is she putting oh, oh yeah. this is the best. Mentos. This is like a middle school thing right I here. I love it. Oh wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Out the nose. Look at her. <laughs> she's okay. That's when you know you I fucked like her. her. That's yeah, a she's cool, cool. cool. All right. But she kept recording. Yeah, she's she like, didn't cry. Oh my god, that's so funny. Have you ever recorded yourself doing some stupid shit? Oh yeah. Like and you still have it? That's like my whole platform. <laughs> Like, I'm talking about <laughs> dumb shit where you're like, oh. I'm, I'm going to delete this. I have those moments, but I delete them because it makes me nauseous mm. to look at them. I don't know. I'm pretty, I'm pretty open. I'm pretty... Okay. <laughs> you're out there. Okay. I, my gun went off once. I'm and just I don't glad know. there wasn't social media 20 years ago. Because yeah, yeah. so, that oh, would have been bad. Oh, like, my God. Imagine social media because I'm 45. Yes. When I was a kid, I'd be in jail right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. All right, Kelly, keep it going. Every guy felt this. Oh! Ow! Oh. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> But you oh know, God. that could have been a girl. Let's, I mean, you're assuming you, their gender. Yeah, so. let me see. Yeah, Kelly, yeah. hold on. Go back. I want to see. Let me make sure <laughs> I'm not assuming. It could be a girl. It could be. Oh. Bro, like. <laughs> it's the goat screen. Well, for let me, me explain something to you. You're, you. Listen to me. I've gotten hit before. That could ruin yeah. you forever. Yes. Oh, my God. Dodge, you ever got hit in the crotch like that? Yeah, once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> Running from the feds. Oh, God. Climbing over the fence. Takes your I got you. Away. Good. Go ahead, Kelly. This water slide is out of control. Where is Where'd he? Where did everybody go? Oh, oh shit! That's dangerous. <laughs> oh my, Where's no! That? I don't ever want to ride on that. Are Just you kidding? Yo, that's a lot that too. Is. Yes. Oh, there's two of them on that's there. That's a tea bag. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's oh what it was. That's, that's <laughs> almost 400 pounds of, of oh, meat flying down well. there. Oh my god, that's so good for them. They have weight limits. Yeah, good for them. <laughs> that's weightist. Yeah. <laughs> that's your own fault. Yeah, oh, yeah exactly. Oh! oh. Look, the tree doesn't even know what it's following him. This is scary. <laughs> Around to find out. The tree is trying to get. Oh, did he get hit with it? Oh my He's god, fine. that's hilarious. <laughs> Keep it going, Kel. That's hilarious. That tree was out, out to get him. Yeah, this is Florida for sure. Oh, oh wow. damn! Whoa. Oh, so that's been. Oh, the shark ate his bluefin tuna. Wow. Bro. Oh my. And like, yo, so, yo. Kylie, I always think of, about stuff like this. Let's just say, God forbid, you're just like, because it happens all the time. I'm just going to jump in the water to have a swim. And that thing, dude, that's my biggest fear, especially in Florida, is that shit right there. You're but more I'm, likely to get hit by a car, though. 100%. Yeah. Well, and what do you mean? Under a 16-wheeler in my, in my Actually, Honda. Actually, the left is the sharks. <laughs> They're more dangerous for society 100%, right 100%, I agree. Right that's so freaking funny. Kelly, how much more? Uh, a couple more. Okay, let's go. I love this. Oh, God. Oh, the fact that they put in slow motion leaves. for us. Oh, yes. I don't. This is. Wait, where's he going? Uh, too far. Too what far. was he trying? Landed, landed. What was he trying? 
Okay, he's what okay. What is he trying he's to do, okay. though, Kali? What is he trying he's to do? Okay. What was your goal? goal. <laughs> <laughs> what was he, Joey? What was he trying to do? Just uh, land it. He was just yeah. Trying to land what an idiot. Go ahead. At least, at least it was grass. I, I, I'm impressed by the flip. I still can't do that on my. I can flip my ass off. I'm a flipper. Oh. I'm a flipper. I'd like to see that. I will. I will I'll do it. <laughs> What, what the f What the hell? Dude, he just got up like nothing happened. Please what show that again. Here, folks? Guys, this guy is gangster. Look, he just literally fell in. Look, whoop, whoop, slip, busted That's his ass. So he's, in the, he's in the he's in the he's downstairs in the basement right now, dude. It's because he looks like he was trying to rob someone. I know, but he's now he's gonna go yeah. have a drink. He has to leave because he's gonna he's go have a drink. Right now. <laughs> now he's gonna go have a drink for sure. Mm -hmm. Alright, go ahead. Whoa! Oh, that's his back patio area. Oh my! God. Water put, damage. What did he put on top of? Yeah, that's for sure. This is the straw that broke the camel's back. That's Literally. Sad. Oh man. Well, hopefully he. If I could turn back time. <laughs> Dude, we should definitely. That. I want to yeah, play that. That's that my button. line. I, I should Don't use take it. My line. That's hilarious. So we, we, we can't steal it. We're live. Yes. People, people are gonna know that we got you. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Who's that? That's Cher, right? Yes. Cher. Oh, Jesus. Wait for it. Hey, Billy. Aw. Hey, Billy. <laughs> he's just going to go to sleep. Billy, what the hell was he doing like, up there? He's like, don't move. I got to get a photo. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Yeah, go, go, go. So wait, hold my thing. It's a golf store. What the hell is he doing in the wow. ceiling? Hey, it's probably two floors. Hey, Ron. Hey, hey Billy. <laughs> Look at the conversation. That's Don't even... called Build Back Better right there. Damn right it is. That's Build Back you Better. You damn right it is. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, keep going. Go to the next one. Oh. oh. Crackers on the road. This? He thinks there's a shooting. <laughs> That's mean. Who are his kids? He thinks there's a shooting. That, that was an adult. It that was, was adult. a mean person that, that did that to that person. <laughs> Bro, he thought he was getting shot at. Oh, well, they were He's tricking like, him. Yeah, they, he like, that's like in Brazil or some shit. They really, they, they think that there's shootings happening and shit on the street. Uh, he was paralyzed with fear. Oh, oh. my God. All right, go ahead, Kel. Uh, that was it. Okay, well, get, so here's my question. Thank you. No, no don't, the <laughs> audience, don't applaud for that one. Don't applaud. <laughs> we didn't deserve it. Fucking guys. Okay, listen. So, Kelly, because yeah. we forgot to do the, the Kamala. So, the Kamala. We did. Okay, so. Just really fast, guys. That Kamala speechwriter's thing is like, I it's she's horrible. Uh, she's absolutely horrible at, at her job. She's to me, she's the status quo. They put her in there because they just checked all the marks, just like Karine Jean Pierre. It's it's okay. all the checks. She's gay. She's a black girl. She's a few, it's all the marks. So I saw a video of a deep fake of Kamala, and the crazy thing about it was, it's fake. The speech is horrible. But I, if you just showed it to me, you're like, this is really her. I would believe it 100% because she sounds this stupid. Can we show mm -hmm. it, Cal? Yes, we can. Let's show it. Listen to this speech. Today is today. <laughs> and yesterday was today yesterday. <laughs> tomorrow will be today tomorrow. Does it sound like her? So live today. So the future today will be now. as the past today. As it is tomorrow. Like, Today is. Like, what the hell is she even talking about? Like, I believe. Like, think about it. If you didn't know that that was a deep fake, would you believe that that was her? Oh yeah. That's one hundred percent. That's her. That little girl was me. That was what? <laughs> Which one? Qu quoting her. Oh yeah, that's hilarious, dude. That's well, so. Well, you know freaking... you're racist if you talk against her. Yeah, no, like, I, I, that's, I listen. That's why they choose these I, black women. How, but how yes. brilliant is how brilliant is that yes. as a move? Listen, and I say this all the time, Kali. Say what you want. The left is brilliant at being what they're doing because oh, yeah. the people that believe them and the brainwash that they do is fantastic. Which actually scares me because I'm like, are people really that stupid? They really, yo, I'm telling you right now, the average American is dumb as shit. You know, I mean, come on, you know it's that, right? It's the educational system. Oh, yeah, and, and you, yeah, come, mind you, this coming from a freaking high school teacher yes. of 15 years. Yes. Holy shit. Yes. We're gonna, okay, listen, we're gonna get into that in a second. Uh, Kali, I have to do our quick uh, sponsor read uh, for our episode. Joey, is Joey here? Yeah. Joey, um, oh, I thought you were gonna be here already. So guys, um, so Aura is our sponsor, A-U-R-A, -A, and uh, it's identi identity, theft protection, fraud monitoring, uh, VPN password management, antivirus software, all combined into one easy use app. Guys, I'm telling you right now, my 
uh, I, I joined uh, Aura a couple a couple that. months ago, and guess what? My stuff was over the web 80, 80 and up times. Um, so I got Aura, and it's like real up to date. They let you know if anything's happened, like real time on the app. Uh, real time alerts. Joey's over here. We're gonna show Joey for a second. Joey, can you please explain to everybody what you just showed me in the back of what happened? And mind you, he's gonna have to sign up. You have to sign up for Aura. I'm not joking, right after this because of what happened. Yeah, I wish I would've known this uh, weeks ago because apparently somebody uh, used my information to open up accounts. Um, there's been up to th uh, $3,500 in transactions and even Trans. a couple Y yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Transactions, yeah. probably by a trans, um, but keep going. And, and even a couple attempts to get loans. So Aura uh, would have been very helpful. And <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just a little too late on that. So Yeah, good. Well, if you were here last week, you would have done it. But so, and guys, and this is the thing. Uh, Aura, I, I said this before, Aura gives you like, it's like having a digital bodyguard, Kali, because it's somebody that's watching and making sure. Because, dude, they were trying to get a loan from his account. That somebody opened yep. up something under you, they tried to get a loan, and you had no idea. So what was the moment that you were like, oh shit, this happened? Literally, they sent it to my old address, which is my parents' home, Yeah. and my mom sent me a picture, and they used, like, Joe instead of Joseph, which yeah. is... Which is your legal name, Joseph. Yeah. So that's how I knew something was a little up. Uh, reached out to him, but it's, it's starting to get handled now. But yeah. wish I could have prevented this yeah. with Aura. And, yeah, and guess what? So Aura, again, the, the VPN allows you to stay anonymous online by keeping your browsing history and personal info safe and encrypted. Like I said, it's having a digital bodyguard, bro. Like just some dark glasses buff guy behind you just going, hey, yo, Bank of America. They're trying to rob, you know what I mean? They're trying to rob you. So guys, don't waste your time. It's, it's affordable, it's totally worth it. If you sign up now, Aura will give you a two week free trial by using my link. So it's www.auraaura.com forward slash BT comedy. Guys, and I hate to be this guy, don't be a Joey, all right? Don't be sign like up. Me. Don't be like me. Don't be like don't Joey. Be like but anyway, okay. So thank you, Joey. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing, sharing is caring. All right, so, Kali, I'm so excited. Uh, I looked you up, I saw all your videos, I did my research. <laughs> so just, it, Luna is freaking hilarious. I'm pretty sure some people are like, that's, those are real people. Like that girl, that character, there's oh, yeah. millions of yeah, Lunas. Yeah, she goes viral, people don't know it's me because people think it's real, think she's real. And that's how sad it is because 20 years ago, People would be like, what? Yo, the hell's wrong? Yeah. yeah. And I'm, now the fact that the things that she's saying can is be... Is freaking... Like, what do you mean? Believable? I'm not going to front. When I saw the Dinesh clip, like, right off the rip to, like, got it, I was like, who is this crazy... I, this is before I even know who you were. It's the mask. I, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but, yo, but, but Kyle, I saw it and I was like, this bitch is crazy. Yes. Because he didn't break. You stayed in character, which is brilliant. Oh, yeah. So, so Kyle, can you do me a favor? Um, I know we, we know a little bit about you, but take a couple minutes... Uh, we'll do like, like a speed date, Ooh. let us know about a little bit about yourself, about your past, what made you who you are, and let the world know. I'm supposed to still be in the classroom teaching right now. You really are. The world has gone crazy the last three years. Yeah. Oh. I was teaching public school 15 years. I taught the low readers. Yeah. So I taught ninth graders that were reading at a kindergarten level, gotcha. barely able to decode, uh -huh. and I would help catch them up in the year on reading. Cool. And I also taught the English learners. So the kids from, most of them are from Mexico, mm -hmm. coming to this country in Cali, for a better uh, life, yeah. while the left is telling them that America is racist. Meanwhile, their whole family is sacrificing to come here yeah. and oh, yeah. uh, to give them a better life. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, so things just kind of went crazy during the pandemic. I was teaching in California. They shut down. They shut down my school for a year and two months. Because of, of COVID. Because of COVID. Teaching high schoolers online. Oh God! Are you? Yeah. Are you yeah. nuts? It was. It was torture. It oh. was torture. And we saw Florida open up. You know, and they were like freaking out about Florida opening up. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sitting here like, you guys, there's not body bags. Yeah, like they said that. The, Florida yeah. did fine. Yeah. We should have opened. Yeah. But the teachers were wanting to keep the, keep it closed because they loved it because teachers are lazy. Of, yeah, of course. <laughs> and did you you saw the the NAACP just said. They did a warning to Oh, yeah, Americans, stay away from Florida. Stay away from Don't Florida because it's white supremacy. Yes, exactly. Land. Can you believe that shit? People, I, like I, I you said, know what? Believe it. Go stay. ahead. Yeah, yeah, don't come. Yeah. You're not welcome stay here. Stay yes. Don't come to Florida. There's right. Hey, there's racists out yes. here. We're all going to be racist. Oh, yeah. She's, I'm Middle Eastern. Uh -huh. She's a black woman. We're racist. Oh, because you know white supremacists are like the most diverse movement now. Oh, my. Yeah. Because yeah, <laughs> so everybody's white I love, you know what cracks me up when they called Jewish people Nazis? Yes. I'm like, do you have any idea what the 
you're talking yes. about? Are you stupid? Well, you saw the the, the UPS car that just drove into yeah. the White House. Yeah. Why the White House fence? White House fence. And it's yeah. like totally a Muslim-looking guy. It's a Muslim right? guy with a beard. He looks like me. <laughs> yes. And they're like, he's a white supremacist. He's a white supremacist. Oh, they laid God. out the Nazi flag yeah. all like perfectly. Hey, dude, let me explain yeah. something. It's such a. It, it, it's. I get tr- like I can't even breathe because I'm like, how are people so dumb and they so gullible? But then I stop. The educational it's system. The education. Yes. They keep you. That's what it's for. That's what it's for. They keep you. That's dumb. what. In fact, that's what it was created for. You know, uh, when 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 our educational system was, you know, 120 120 years ago, kids were getting homeschooled. Yeah. They were learning from home. Yeah. And then the government decided we want to educate the children of America, and they have sucked ever since. Wow. The government's like, yes. we got this. Well, we know yes. what your and kids. And it's getting need. worse and worse. Like, you. What you experience in high school yeah. and middle school is not what these kids are going through right How, now. So what, if you had to pick one thing, what do you think is the the main thing that's screwed up now from when I was? I mean, the other kids. It's the other kids. You know, I, a lot of people are really scared of the teachers, right? Yeah. And there's still a lot of good teachers. I talk bad about teachers, left-leaning teachers, but there's still so many good teachers out there. Mm-hmm. I don't want to, like, no, I feel take you. away from them. Yeah, no, for sure. Right? Because I was one of them, and yeah, I no, was I working you. hard. Yeah. But um, the other kids now. Mm-hmm. We've got kids identifying as gender fluid, as non-binary. We didn't have that five years ago. Yeah. There was no nine non-binary kids five years ago. I don't remember. This I don't... is getting implanted into their minds, and yeah. it's making them crazy. And so now you're putting your kids around these crazy kids. Yeah. I mean, and these kids aren't getting better. They're getting worse because they're getting affirmed, right? Not you. And so it's just creating. I, I wouldn't want my kids around them. Oh God, no. Yeah. God no. So and that and so then so you Luna, you and your husband. Started a, a school. Oh, Exodus yes. Can you yes. please let people know what that is? So Man. hopefully they can start putting kids in schools like this, which I think is brilliant, and I commend you for it. Like that, that is like you talk the talk, but now you're walking the walk. So, so what, what is the school? And it's, all, it's online? I think we're all doing something different than what we were doing three years ago. Oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, yeah, it's an online K-12 through school. It's, for, it's nationally accredited. Beautiful. It's for parents that want to pull their kids from public school. And if you live in a school choice state, it could be free for you. Oh, like fantastic. in Florida, it can be free for you. And then we also have a, 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 a program that counters the left. So mm. we're teaching kids fifth through 12th grade lessons that counter all this crazy radical indoctrination that's happening. Because I'm worried about the future. Like the left is radicalizing their kids right now and turning them into like a bunch of genderless, weird, like yeah. co- communists. I mean, that's not that's, a joke. No, I it's agree. It's literally one, happening. It's 100%. Right? And yeah. so we need to make sure our kids are ready for 10 years, 20 years from now when we're old yeah. and these wannabe communists are trying to like, kill us or something oh my god and we need to have an army of young people to stand up for us yeah the ones that are running our country yeah I so agree. i i created a program that's for fifth through 12th graders that's only 20 dollars a month that counters all of their narratives That's because i want to get them ready especially if you're going to put them in college if you can put your kid in co- kids in college or you're going to have them go to these woke colleges yeah. you oh. need to make sure they're ready because yeah. these professors they paint a bunch of narratives and they do it really well yeah. and you're gonna like have this sweet kid leave to go to college and come back and have like the bull ring oh god and, and the, like, the, that, yeah. that what's that that metal ear yeah they exactly. put metal <laughs> we just slam them against oh, the, like I, I would love to put like this metal thing and they're gonna it. be like i'm polyamorous and all kinds of weird yeah, stuff like, what? so you got to make sure you get it while they're young you we got to make sure we, they know the truth right now and so that right has been my mission it's been a lot of work good for, but, but i'm, I'm but, so but good for you and yeah. i'm fine right now you yeah. like you because you, you've seen both sides you, you, you were, like you said, you were on the left. You basically saw the light, like, you know, like, uh, what's his name? Neo from the Matrix, where he comes yes. out and he's like, oh, shit. This is yes. what you thank. Mind you, thank God, because you few and far between are what you are. Oh. Once, you, once you're left, bro, my, I have cousins that are like, I, like, nothing right now is going on. Like, Joe Biden could literally kill somebody in the White House on the yeah. lawn. And they'd be like, no, come on. Like, he what are you guys talking has. about? What's that? He's old. Like, all of his accusers or people, they just disappear. Yeah, isn't that weird? It's like, yeah. yeah isn't, that, isn't that weird, right? Yeah, but it's like, creepy. I, and, and, and just going on that, uh, Kali, I genuinely think there is an assault on youth, on the kids. From, from the Chinese TikTok, Chinese TikTok to yeah. making kids doing all this stupid shit that hurts them, to, like you said, the schools and the, the trans movement, uh, uh, the teaching them all that crazy shit. It's like, bro... How are you going to tell a kid, like, hey, listen, you're underage, but listen, it's our chop off your, if you want to be a girl, go tell them, tell your parents you want to chop everything off, take all these pills, take all these drugs, and it's like, that's why a school, and you're actually teaching them, so let me ask you one question, uh, Callie, you, how many, te- you have a bunch of teachers that are teaching on your, 
on the platform. Yes, yes. That's freaking awesome. And they're well vetted. They're teachers you can trust. Beautiful. And it's not gonna, there's not going to be any indoctrination. It's just a straightforward school. That's awesome. And the truth. It's called Exodus Institute. Exodus Institute. And that's the website. Yeah, and you go to thinkexodus.org. Thinkexodus.org. Web awesome. Yeah. So, like, did you see, like, just, was it yesterday, Kelly, the Target situation? Did you see how, like, obviously, okay, and here's my thing. With Target, again, you're going to the kids, and I, I absolutely despise when you bring up something where the kids are getting targeted and I say something, yup, and you know how the left is? They're like, hey, you're transphobic. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm not, a, yeah. I'm not afraid of any of you. I'm not afraid. I'm just not putting up with the child shit. So Kelly, what was the story about the Target situation? Uh, there's a brand uh, called AB Prawn. I'm not exactly sure how to okay. pronounce it, but they have these pins and stickers that like their product basically has, um, and I can show you the picture here. Can you please show me? And this is yeah, in yeah. Targets. So this is uh, was being sold in, in Targets. It's, you know, gay icon and fight for trans rights and all that stuff. But then there's ones Did that say, say join my Satan. Gay look, look, this, this Target. Can you, <laughs> go, yeah, go ahead, Kelly. I can't yeah. see it. So Satan can you, respects pronouns. Go all the way in. That's the one in the middle. We look at, bash back. Yeah, can you zoom in, Kelly, in the middle one? Yeah. Satan, on. look at that. Uh, uh, Homo respects prona homophobe Wh headrest. What the hell is this? Which is uh, wizards times up love for tra transphobes. <laughs> like, um, and this isn't mind you. You think that this is a comedy that somebody? Oh, put, there's like, the third eye. Isn't that insane? <laughs> that is insane. That that is real. This is uh, like violence inciting. Dude, if you if you think like uh, if you if you think about it, dodge and it's like again, they're freaking kids should be playing in the dirt outside. They shouldn't be worrying about a demon. Like, hey, it's okay. The devil. The devil will accept you is what they're freaking saying. It is insane. It is insane, guys. What's, what's I, so sad is that they think that God doesn't accept them for being different, and then they go so far left to say, well, Satan accepts you, so we're just going to make him, like, God stands for all, like, hope, compassion, love, and everything, and, and you know, it's, it's disturbing that, A, you would, you know, have Satan be your mascot, and then, B, that you would also promote, violence and these headrests for people that disagree with you oh. um like why would you you don't like violence being done to you because you're a certain way why would you fight fire with fire why would you yeah. that just lessens that just lessens your argument it just yeah and what was the other thing i guess they had like bathing suits with tuck crotch i don't know if that was the same company no but, but, but it was like, target yeah it's it was target. target right yeah. but i don't know if it was the same brand not, or not not, not, not the, the same, same brand, brand but yo yeah. but people it's like their pride line it's their pride yeah, line, so, it's pride month next month. Yeah, so you know how painful that is? I mean, we were just watching videos of like dudes getting- uh, Yeah, hitting so, the crotch. Uh, it actually really hurts. I've watched videos about, oh, you go on TikTok and they actually talk about their tucking. Oh God. And, um, and because these trans are actually trying really hard yeah. to convince men now yeah. that they really are women. Yeah. Yeah. That didn't happen 20 years ago. No. Like they were crazy cross dressers back then, but yeah. they weren't like, I'm really a woman. Yeah, like you right? better tell, you and better so call me now this. These Trans are being like, I'm shining brighter than real women and all this crazy yeah. stuff. Oh my God. And so they're tucking so that they can deceive. It's all deception. Yeah, it's a it's deception, deception, but it hurts. Uh, like, I, I, trust I me, I've imagine, done it before as a joke. I mean, a bra's already uncomfortable <laughs> enough. I'm like, how is that for a man to like tuck his Kali, I've dangle? done that. I've, yeah. I was in the military. I've done a lot of crazy shit throughout my life. I have done the tuck to make people laugh. It is so <laughs> painful because everything's oh, stuck. Oh yeah, I remember that is kind of a joke. It's, I forgot about that. Like, hey, look, like, remember in a yes. um, scary movie, Tucked In yes. or Tucked Out with uh -huh. Sean Wayans? Oh, dude, that thing hurts. It hurts so much. But um, but yeah, but I, I, I genuinely commend people like you that are not just, like, it pisses you off, but now you're taking a stand and you're actually it's doing abusive. something. It's abusive. It's abusing children. Yeah. I mean, they're handing out chest binders at schools now yeah, and weird. hiding it from parents. Yeah, and that's, that's the thing. The parents have no yes. idea they're what they're handing what? out what? Chest binders. So what? Oh, and that's the other thing is that it's more girls now are identifying as boys is it than it was in the past. It's reversing. It oh, used okay. to be boys, more boys would identify as girls. It's still a very small percentage. Yeah, but, but now it's completely flipped, and now it's more girls that are identifying as boys because girls, when they're in high school, they don't. They they're, don't. They're, they're yeah, confused. Yeah, and also they, 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 they don't like themselves time. sometimes. Yeah, like girls yeah, don't have enough code. shit going on. Now it's this. Yes. And so if you look at the girls that are getting their breasts cut off, like yeah. there's a, actually a clinic here in Florida where girls as young as 16 go and get mastectomies. They're all very unhealthy and big girls. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, if they just worked out, yeah. you know, had a makeover, yeah. like learn to love themselves, mm -hmm. 
the, I, I, I firmly believe they wouldn't. Be. You don't see people looking like Christy Brinkley or whatever no, cutting their, or Claudia right. Schiffer yeah. or any, you know, Gigi Hadid cutting yeah. their breasts off because they're beautiful women, yeah, right? Yeah, they look good. Well, those girls so, want to Exactly. They yeah. want to be women, right? Yeah. So a lot of these girls just need to look, just need to shine brighter as a woman. I agree. And embrace their I agree. womanhood. I agree. Yeah. Well, Fat listen. girls need love too. Yeah. Don't forget it. Yeah, I'll no, be there. Fat girls need to work hey, out. Well, guess what? Fat That's girl, almost. I used to be a fat girl. They need to work out. You look fantastic. I've lost that. seventy pounds. Let's go. And you know what? You're so much beautiful. happier when you've lost weight. Hundred percent. Straight up. But you yes. know what it is? It's laziness, and people don't want to put in the work. Yes. And I think I think uh, this is hilarious because out of nowhere, his voice came out like an angel yeah, did. from that the corner. Yeah, did. That was what's up with that. Which, which, <laughs> so, Kali, this is my. You must like fat girls or something. He loves. Well, guess what? You're about to be. Yo. Oh, yeah, you totally is a fat girl. Like, now oh, that yeah. I see him. Chubby chaser. <laughs> Sorry. So, hey, so wait, are you assuming his gender, sexual? No, I'm joking. But, yo, Kali, it's funny that this is happening because you're going to get a kick out of him. We're going to move on to our in-house crazy news correspondent, international big girl loving sex oh, yeah. icon. Yeah. Hey, guys, his name Thank is you. Dodge Landsman. Give it up for it. Dodge this. Like they will. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Artificial applause. So, uh, I appreciate I'm just going to give Kali just a little heads up. Dodge is going to give us the news, but he puts a kind of a crazy little disgusting twist, which we like. It's pretty horrifying. It breaks it up. It's pretty horrifying, yeah. but it's beautiful. And people love Amen. Dodge. So, Dodge. Amen. Dodge, give us, tell us what's happening in the world, please. Yes, a lot happening in the news. We'll start with pop culture. <laughs> Paris Hilton's beloved Chihuahua dog, Harahuku Bitch, that's his real name, <laughs> has passed away at the age of 23. It was a long struggle under Paris's ownership, but luckily the dog was finally able to take its own life. <laughs> Dude, I just picture the dog. Would, no, that sounds like a good life. No, yeah, I'm 20 of Yeah. Yeah, but if, uh, if under, you have to hear that ditziness, like, oh my God, I'd probably hot. kill myself too. I'd kill myself. All right, go ahead. Nick Cannon's girlfriend refers to him as her man, oh. but says she's in more of an open relationship. Cannon confirmed this when he announced he was using her to create his evil army of clones. <laughs> <laughs> he has how many kids? 12 kids? He, has 12, even, he just had his 12 kids. How is more than the that? STDs going on and all I don't yeah, know. Yeah, 12 be and, 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 uh, because he's not protecting himself. No, like, not at all. And no child support. He goes, they, he just, and he said, and I quote, that my money is they money. So he has no child support. On none of these girls. So those girls, I mean, it's only a matter of time until one of them goes, I want more money. But let's go. All right, Dodge, keep going. it, honestly. Creating some diversity for the GOP, black South Carolina Senator Tim Scott has announced his candidacy for president. Black Republicans have coalesced behind the senator in force, giving him an impressive 2% in the polls. <laughs> Numbers going up. That number's gonna go. I mean, no, I feel, he, but I feel bad. Good. There's, a, there's a good amount he, of black Republicans. No, no, yeah, no, it's there, changing. No, there are, no, there are <laughs> and I love it. But dude, like, in, in all true. honesty, everybody, black, white, female, everybody that's running, you know, it's it's Trump. Well, nine out of ten black women voted for Biden, unfortunately. Oh, why? Yeah. Why? Yeah, that's true. Weird. That's weird. his bread and butter. Weird. Well, hopefully everybody's waking the fuck up because this yes. past three years has been a shit show. So go exactly. ahead, Dodge. Oh yeah, it's horrible. And Karen AI is a program where you can have your own artificial intelligence girlfriend. Ew. It is based on the likeness of this actual social media influencer. <gasps> and I'm making one based off of Vinny's mom. Where the fuck oh, you get that? Oh, yeah, she's nice. cute. Just show my mom. She's a look girl. Wow. Just show my mom. Go I back heard to her his. voice once. Yo, look your at mom my, is cute. Look at my what mom. What happened to you? Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let me tell you hear her Jesus voice. Jesus Christ. Know, I'm kind Golly. Of I can't stop I'm thinking about her. Dude, that is I so... I middle school. Guys, where the hell did you get that picture of my mother, you son of a I bitch? I have my ways, believe me. Were you on Facebook? We have a little, <laughs> little thing going my on. My God. Me and Mrs. O'Shauna. We got a thing <laughs> oh going on. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love him. My God. In, in Illinois, the attorney general issued a report saying almost 2,000 children were sexually abused oh. by Catholic priests. It's because they don't... In know. response, priests told detractors... Hate the play of priests, not the game. <laughs> He's so dumb, Dodge. Oh, I missed You're that so one. That was dumb. a good one. Don't hate the play of priests. All right, go ahead. Hate the game. Scott Disick is showing pics with his son's new beach blonde, Do. He wants his kid to grow up to be a giant douchebag just like his <laughs> old dad. 
I hate all those. You don't watch any of those shows, do you? I'm still waiting for one of their kids to identify as another. Oh, it's all oh, happening. Oh, it's happening. It. Oh, it's happening. Oh, just yeah. like, I, just I, like your grandpa. Yeah, you know who's the most flamboyant I've ever seen? Like, like they put the A in gay. Yeah. Uh, Magic Johnson's son. Have you seen Magic uh -oh. Johnson's son? No, I haven't. When I'm done, I'm gonna show you Magic Johnson's son. He is, full, like, he is, one hundred. Like, there's the gay meter. He is. Uh, I'm gonna show you after. You're gonna trip out. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Dodge. And over a thousand migrant children cross the border alone in anticipation of Title 42's expiration. In light of that news, I'm heading straight to Mexico to see that special single mom in my life. <laughs> Who writes this? You write this? That's Dodge. That's all so Dodge. Me. Wow. All the time I have. Mexico. Dodge loves Mexico. Now that her kid is gone, I'm, I'm going to see her again. Okay. I'm excited. All right. yeah, that's, that's his photos, actually. So just yeah, this is, uh, I, I travel around Mexico a lot. Redheads are very exotic over there. Remind <laughs> so me to is... stay away from that guy. That, don't go over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dangerous. Corner. Don't go over there. Yes. Dangerous and desperate. That's a bad combo. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Dodge. Ron DeSantis announces candidacy during an, or Ron DeSantis will announce his candidacy during an interview with Elon Musk today. The event will be sponsored by Autism Speaks. <laughs> <laughs> he is really aut autistic, isn't he? What's his Elon, name? Elon is, Musk? and I bet DeSantis is too. Yo, like, I saw let's a video of him laughing. Kali, I'm not joking. Like, like trying to be in public, it was the most awkward thing Elon? I've ever seen. He was like, ah, 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 and then he came back to normal. Ron, I don't think has a, a chance against Trump, but that's no. another. But also Trump 2024. Trump 2024. Yeah. It's yeah. happening. It's happening. <laughs> Say what you no want. meatballs. Yeah, it's happening. Meatball Ron. That is, that's a good name. I like Meatball. that name. And a 38-year-old woman in California is under fire for having sex with a number of underage teenage students. <gasps> Before they look the like scandal, that. They look like with a number of them. Oh wait, say that number, again. Number. A number. How many? At least three. A number. At least three. Oh my God. At least that's three. Sad. So yeah, why? Well, say that again. I want to hear this. What, you, what happened? Yeah. So a 38-year-old woman in California is under fire for having sex with at least three underage teenage students. Pretty serious. And this is interesting. Before this scandal, a local newspaper even named her Teacher of the Year. In my eyes, yeah, she's still a super friendly she's teacher. teacher of the Year. Dodge. Oh my she's God. She's still bro. Teacher of the Year. Dodge, I told you he's nuts. I told you. Gets a little saucy. I love definitely, it. Definitely. And a driver crashed his box truck into the security barriers at the White House. Upon hearing the commotion, President Biden emerged and asked if that was the Uber Eats guy. <laughs> oh, no, it's the ice cream truck. Come yeah, on, I could have wrote a better joke chocolate, than that. Chocolate, chip. Right? Yeah. chocolate, chocolate chip, you idiot. Yeah. Go ahead, Dodge. <laughs> and a server at a gala said Alec Baldwin called her a peasant unprompted. But hey, like her, his daughter, the bitch was being a rude, thoughtless little pig. <laughs> he Remember called that? His he called his daughter what? A rude, thoughtless little pig in like, a voicemail when like she was 15 years old. Oh, yeah. So is this the same guy that shot people? He yes, only shot same people. guy. He's verbally He has a great track women. record. Bro, he, mind you, mind you, Trump hater because Trump is so bad. Yes. He's a, Alec Baldwin's a scumbag, bro. Yeah, he totally He's a huge is. scumbag. Mm -hmm. But mind you, it's always when you're the problem, yes. you got to push it out. They project. Exactly. Uh -huh. That's a projection, everybody. Take notes. Oh, Bye. yeah. And a Victoria's Secret model and influencer. Oh, this is says she used euthanasia to end the life yeah, of her ill grandmother. Oh, God. And she also called it a powerful experience. Detractors say that's nothing to celebrate since the wrong person got euthanized. <laughs> the, oh, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> they killed somebody else's Nana Dodge? No, it should have been hers, the Victoria's Secret model, oh, not the, oh my, not the, the grandma. grandma. Oh my God, that's yeah. So this funny. girl like danced with her grandma who's about to get like euthanized yeah. in yeah, Canada. Really Canada creepy. is crazy. Canada's See, nuts. this is why we need to make sure we don't have this communist revolution coming here because that's where we're headed. You're damn right we are. Euthanizing older people like, um, yay, look at Kill my them! Video. Yeah. Oh my God. Is that it, Dodge? That's it. That's Give it up for Dodge, blow, everybody. Right? Yes. Yeah. Give it up for Dodge. We don't have he to likes big that women. Again, right? He likes Mexico. Always, uh, always. Amen. All right, so Kyle, we we have a couple minutes left. I'm gonna just I'm gonna try to go through these fast, Kyle, because we don't have that much time. Uh, we're gonna go to our next uh, section where we talk shit about some of these stories, and the section is called venting with Vinny. Uh, all right, guys. So the first the first story. Uh, a California, this is not such a messed up story. It's not funny, but it is funny to me because this always happens to white people. Hear me out. A California father died after being struck by a car while helping a family of ducks 
cross a busy road. Oh. Yeah, it took place in Stanford Ranch oh. Road in city of Rockland, 22 miles from Sacramento. William Wimsat, a 12-year-old boy, witnessed the accident and said that he stepped out of his car to help the ducks avoid traffic. And the, William goes, he got out of the car and was like shooing, shooing the ducks while everybody's clapping. Like the, the peanut gallery was clapping and everybody's like, good job, good job. And then right after that, he was struck by a car by a 17-year-old girl. No charges were, were they, okay, and here's my thing, okay? And when I say white people, white people, mind you, I love pets, I'm pretty sure you do. I know Kelly does, Dodge has a dog. Yeah. White people get too much involved. Look at this photo. This gets look, all look, crazy. Look at this photo right now. First of all, look at that. You know that red hand stands for, Kali? Don't be, don't cross, okay? Look at the ducks. Do you see that truck on the right? That thing, that is the truck in question that killed this dude. Now think about this. He's dead. His kids are watching this situation. The 17-year-old the girl's life is ruined too. And on top of all that, I'm all for animals. I'm not, I, I love animals to death. You, whenever you help an animal like that, they never acknowledge your niceness. Like, that duck is not gonna turn around and be like, thank, like, thank you. They just go along their day and like that's... A, and most favorably ducklings get killed by they, other animals. They anyway. get killed. You know, they always, I, I'm a big, big, big animal lover. Yeah. In fact, this would have been a good time to bring my puppy on. I know, I wish the today. puppy He's was gone. here. But oh my God! I've had advice because I'm someone who would totally swerve if I saw an animal. Yeah. You don't do that. You can't. You have to just. You gotta keep on trucking. And you know what? Trucking. Human life is more valuable than animal life, no I matter agree. what the leftist vegan. I agree. Try one hundred. To... One thousand. Exactly. It's us. It's us first. And Kelly, can you show the picture? And listen, no, I don't care how I die. The nature of how I die. Oh, is that the? Oh, Not this way. Oh no. So, <laughs> so they have no. The, the, there's one where you know the memorial that they set up. They put seven little. It's all good. Seven little rubber duckies next to the thing. I'm, I'm like, listen, let me explain something to you. If I Wait, die. Wait, the ducky dies too? The no, duckies died too? I, oh shit, that's a good question. I don't know. They didn't. They didn't so it's all... I don't think he died in vain. I think he died saving. He's okay. saved, but you, but you know what though? In heaven, if he shows up to heaven, which he probably seems like a nice guy, gonna be called they're stupid. all laughing at his ass in heaven. Yeah. They're gonna be like, dude, what the ducks? Your son is like, scarred for the rest of his life. They put little rubber duckies. I don't give a shit how I die. Don't ever put something that squeaks and goes in a tub on my memorial. I don't play that shit. Don't just put a flower and a cross. Be like, good job. I don't want none of that shit. Anyway, we're going to move on to the next story, Kelly. Uh, two people were recently accused of trafficking more than 1,500 grams of cocaine through oh. South Carolina after the drugs fell out of a fake pregnancy belly being worn by uh, one of the drug dealers. Anthony Miller and Kamika Mitchum were pulled over during a proactive patrol yeah. on Inter Interstate 95. To... You wanna laugh? Ke Kelly, can you show the picture of the, okay, listen, that's a white person's stomach, right? Yeah. Kelly, can you show the photo of the two? So look at the white stomach, look at this. Look at, uh, like, at <laughs> least, dude, criminals are so stupid, at least have it be a black belly. You know what I mean? Like, what the hell? Are you doing, bro? That's actually a good idea. Like, I need to sneak my dog in tonight to my hotel. That's really no, but I mean, think about it. If they were smart, yeah, but you, you know, that's like, is your stomach barking? Yeah, like, exactly. No, I'm growling. My stomach's growling. But uh, so police said they had red flags raised. You know how they got suspicious when the they asked the pregnant, they're like, what's your, what's the due date, right? And the guy was like, March. She was like, August. They're like, get the hell out of the car. They even they didn't plan it good at all. And it was white when they finally yes. showed it. So she was running, and they just saw cocaine bags, bags, bags falling. It like, it's like she broke her cocaine water. They were like, what the? And they chased Dummy. her ass down, and they, and they put them in jail. But like, like, how do you not? Like, those are, that again shows how stupid criminals are. You got to, listen, babe, you're pregnant. You're having a baby in May. Let's get that. And listen, I love you to death. You're dark. We're going to have to darken that <laughs> somehow because you have a white stomach, but you're black. Like, what the? What? There's no they planning. They should sue the company for discrimination. <laughs> yes. And be like, they didn't have black Oh my God, bellies. that's so funny. And now I'm in jail because you racist bastards. <laughs> that's actually very that's feasible That's really nowadays. freaking offensive, right? Yes. <laughs> my God, dude, that's hilarious. All right, one more story, Kelly. Um, this is actually, Dodge, Dodge will appreciate this. Right, um, a driver tries to switch seats with his dog to avoid a drunk driving car. A man in Springfield, Jeez. Colorado, was pulled over for traveling 52 miles an hour in the 30 mile per hour zone near 7th and Main. He attempted to switch places with his dog, who was in the passenger seat, <laughs> as the officer approached and watched the entire process. And when he got out, and he just started running and they got him. But yo, 
Uh, after uh, escaping, uh, daring escape bid, he didn't get far. He was apprehended between 20 yards of the vehicle. The dog was given to a friend and was let off with just a warning. Now, listen, I've had my fair share of drinking and driving in the military. I'm not proud of it. I've had a dog in the car with me. I've never been that <laughs> shitty where I'm like, listen, I've given you treats. I fucking <laughs> let you on my leg. You're taking Take the rap for this one, Benji. <laughs> like, can you imagine, like, golly, think about that conversation where he's obviously shit-faced. He thinks it was going to work where he told the dog, I, listen, you do this for daddy. I will let you hump my leg whenever you want, as much as you want, even if there's company. Is that man from Florida? He's 100% Yeah, from Florida. that's total Florida that's man Florida. stuff. Yes. Dodge, have you ever done some stupid That is real. That's Florida real. man is real, not I'm, a myth. These people are freaking insane. <laughs> Dodge, would you, would you have anything? Well, in Mexico, the, when I travel yeah, I around the there, the, the, yeah. the police would pull me over all the time because yeah. I stuck out like a sore thumb and, I, yeah. and since I had a weed on me. Yeah. Uh, so I'd actually put it in the collar of the dog. And they the searched my car. Dodge. Yeah, I had my little dime no. bags, put it right in the car. They never I know it's funny, like we, like, like all this for marijuana. <laughs> I know, down there, yeah. Oh, they'll, they'll lock your ass up for, yeah. forever, bro. Yeah, I they're done. Yo, I went to Cancun and people, uh, I saw, uh, you know, this is, oh my God, when I was in uh, high school, my senior year of high school, some white kids were smoking weed in Cancun. You should see the cops tackle them, put them in the car, and they're, they disappear. Like, then you have to, they drive you to your hotel to get money out, or they put you in Mexican prison. That's how serious. That's how oh, Mexico, yeah. they don't play games no, in Mexico, no. dude. Playing with fire. That's, I knew, yeah. But so, like, like, golly, I can't, I wanted to see the dog. I know your husband's outside with the dog. I'm so pissed off because I wanted to play with so him. Cute. He is so yes. Eli's the name of the dog. Yes. Dude, we're in, oh God, I wish you was I here. know. I wanted so her to play with him. I wanted my audience to see it. But um Just follow me on social media. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. I, I haven't seen any of the dog yet. I haven't seen any. It's always in my story. Okay. But. Oh my god, she's so freaking cute. You just what when'd you get you said boy? Uh, Eli. two weeks ago. Two, two weeks, weeks ago. Oh yeah, a little god. chihuahua mix. So okay. So now that we solved the world's problems, uh, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I appreciate the support. Kylie, like, these, like this hour goes by so oh, yeah. freaking fast. <laughs> I appreciate you for coming. Thank you for bringing Luna. I mean, she's a lunatic, obviously. Do you ever get, now question, do you ever get noticed without the mask in public where people are like, hey, that's, are you, like, does people anybody have see, no idea. People have no it's idea me. that it's Yeah, like, she's gone viral so many times, and I'm so like. freaking, <laughs> uh, and like, do people like see yeah, your Yeah, I get unfollowed, actually, because I'll post her videos, and then people will be like, I thought you were cool. Oh, my and God. And they unfollow like, me. I'm like, they dude. love her. They love her. Because, look, so you, so you have genuine fans that think that she really is who she is, right? Oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. Hilarious. What a psychotic, oh, my God. Do America Because she does exist. She's real. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, what do you mean? Buy the boatloads. You have yes. The, and especially buy California. Buy the boatloads. Oh, yeah. Yo, we're the same in that Cali. There was a moment after the pandemic, I'm like, yeah, you're either gonna go crazy with the crazy people, or you need to get away from the crazy people. Oh yeah, so, yeah. What's so, your What's your choice? Oh yeah, so I, I was out. But uh, hey, uh, Kylie, if you want to say like, tell everybody what uh, your your school, plug in all everything that you want to tell the people sure. about your social media, let everybody know. Um, you can find me, Kylie Fontania. I'm on Instagram, YouTube. TikTok, I got banned seven times there, Are you but serious? I'm still there. Yes, because Gen Z's there. I want to reach them. Yes, and my school is Exodus Institute, and you can go to the website thinkexodus.org. Thinkexodus.org. Yes. Kelly, we're gonna uh, .org. We're gonna yes. put that link. Uh, Thank you. In it, I had a freaking blast. Yes. And I lo- so you're you're on another podcast tomorrow. Oh yeah. Who's uh-huh. uh, who's SOS. Oh, you're on Saucecast. Yeah, oh, yeah, my 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 best friend like love you loves you guys. So this is so Aww. fun. For That's her freaking to, awesome. Yes, to see. that is so. And my yeah. so, like, like think about it. This uh, this is uh, I don't know if you did any like this is uh, this is a comedy variety. Yes. This isn't even really a podcast. Yeah, we have that. We have our, our conversations, but I want somewhere where people could go, forget, laugh. We need that. Dodge. We, we need 100% that. We need that. We there's mm-hmm. also you can win the war culture wars with comedy. I agree. I mean, what happened to Sarah Palin? When yeah. Tina Fey yeah. did Sarah Palin, yeah. it was done. Done. Finito. Yes. <laughs> you're right. No, it was completely like, you're done. She's done. And there's like endless content with the left. I mean. Oh, no, 100%. <laughs> yeah, you're done. But, uh, but yeah, I, I appreciate you. Again, I'm going to definitely see you tomorrow because you're yes. going to be at the, wait, because you're going to be shooting here, but you might, you might have to come to the office and check it out. Okay. For sure. Sounds good. But I appreciate you. Everybody out there, listen, I love you all to death. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Tell a friend, tell an enemy, tell everybody. Subscribe to, <laughs> to Kali's, what? To, to her. Thank you for Joy for sharing your, uh, your story about getting robbed by some <laughs> psycho in like Indonesia or some shit. But uh, all right, guys, I love you all to death. Uh, love each other. Take care of each other. Uh, and we'll see you next week. Peace and love.